Hello everyone, hope you all are keeping well. I'm Shade Slayer and welcome to Esports in 5. In this show, we take a look at all the latest happenings from the world of esports in under 5 minutes. Without further ado, let's begin. Carnival Gaming has announced its BGMI lineup. They have acquired the former Team Soul lineup, which consists of athletes Goblin, Omega, Hector, Akshat, and Neo, along with their coach Amit. The lineup were the champions of BMPS 2022 under the Team Soul banner. God's Reign has announced its new BGMI lineup, consisting of Shogun, Delta PG, Justin, Destro, and Coach Wades. Apart from Coach Wades, who was a part of Orangutan's BGMI roster, all four athletes previously played under the banner of Gladiators Esports, during which they won BGIS 2023. Alibaba Raiders has unveiled its BGMI lineup. It consists of Duke, Roman Oji, Chris Opi, Ralph, and Scuba. Prior to this, the lineup played under the banner of GlitchX Reborn. FS Esports has announced its BGMI roster. It consists of Dionysus, Aru, Atanki, and Secret. Prior to this, Dionysus, Atanki, and Aru played for Midway Esports, and Secret was a part of Entity Gaming. Gujarat Tigers has unveiled its BGMI lineup. It consists of Wixki, Shadow, Clutch God, and MJ. Prior to this, Wixki was a part of Midway Esports, Shadow and Clutch God were part of Newman Gaming, and MJ was a part of Revenant Esports. Reckoning Esports has announced the addition of Punk and Hunters to its BGMR roster. Prior to this, Punk was a part of Velocity Gaming. Revenant Esports has added Blaze and Aquanox to its BGMR roster. Prior to this, both of them were a part of God's Reign. Godlike Esports has added Mac to its BGMR roster. Prior to this, he was a part of OR Esports. BGMR athlete Dhruv Madman God has rejoined Team 8-Bit after playing for Hyderabad Hydra's BGMI lineup during BMPS 2023. Grey Fox Esports has announced its CS2 roster. It comprises of Right to Ace, Marzil, Arakin, Seek, and Nox. We wish them all the best. Hydra Clan has bid farewell to its content creator Shivangi. She had been a part of Hydra Clan since January 2023. APAC Predator League 2024 concluded on Sunday, 14 January in the Philippines. From India, Orangutan had qualified for the Valorant event. But since the lineup was disbanded, its players participated as Team No Salary Peak. The team won two out of the three group stage games and finished at 5th to 8th position. The Valorant event was won by Team Secret, who beat Fave Gaming 2-0 to claim the title. In the Dota 2 event, Blacklist Rivalry became the champions after beating Execration 2-0. Abe, ye bina aur ke bhi ja sakte ke khelne? Didn't you already start an org, Frost Esports? Are wo to shuru hone se pehle hi band ho gaya. Main bhi no salary peak ki tarah apni team lekar jayega. Very good bro. I have the perfect name for your team. Kya hai batana? No skills freak. Titan Forge Games, the developer behind MOBA title Smite, has announced its sequel Smite 2. The most significant change to the game will be the massive migration of everything from Unreal Engine 3 to Unreal Engine 5, a substantial overhaul to some of the game's mechanics. They also talked about the impossibility for developers to migrate all the paid cosmetics that the users bought from one title to the other. A system called Legacy, however, will be put in place to give those who invested real money in the original the same amount of premium currency for the sequel. Smite 2 will be accompanied by major changes to the game's esports circuit including new international LAN events and the end of developer-owned teams. Yo man, Smite 2 is another esports title you can fail at. To Jana. According to data released by esports charts, BGMI, which is playable only in India, stood in fifth place in the list of most watched mobile gaming esports titles of 2023, measured in terms of hours watched of esports events. On the list, we had Mobile Legends Bang Bang on top, PUBG Mobile in second, Arena of Valor, including Honor of Kings in third, and Free Fire in the fourth spot. Riot Games has announced multiple partnerships in the past week. They have announced that Omen and HyperX will be their official technology partners across titles. They have also renewed their partnership with Kia Europe and LG Ultra Gear for LEC. Additionally, they have also announced their partnership with Kia America for LCS. Indian esports organizations, Revenant Esports and Marcos Gaming have partnered with AMD. According to the latest updates, streaming giant Twitch has laid off around 35% of its staff, that is around 500 employees. Community platform Discord has also cut around 17% of its workforce, that is around 170 employees. On 12th January, Lokesh Goldie Jain, co-founder of SATOL Esports and 8-Bit Creatives, tweeted about problems with delayed price pools by TOs. He said that it is disappointing to see TOs blaming sponsors for delayed price pools, which range from 6 to 7 months to even more than a year. He mentioned that transparency and accountability are crucial for the growth of esports. He ended by saying that if they don't receive prize pools even after so long, they will no longer participate in tournaments organized by such TOs. And we're done. Is this something that we missed out on? Do let us know in the comments. 
as always follow us on our social media handles like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit that bell icon as we have a lot of exciting things lined up make sure to follow us on loco and twitch as well join our discord server and visit our platform for more updates that's it from me this time i'll see you all next week